What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. First off, before I even begin the video, I just want to say Merry Christmas, everybody. To me, Christmas means celebrating with your family and just the entire spirit of the season. Just enjoying winter and the lights and being with family and just giving thanks to that wonderful, wonderful, infinite universe out there. So I thought to myself, why not talk about a game that, if you have small school-aged children, like I do, is an absolute must-own. In this video, I'm going to take a look at Mickey Speedway USA for the Nintendo 64. It's developed by Rare and published by Disney with the North American release of November 1st, 2000. Mickey Speedway USA is the follow-up kart racing game to Rare's, excuse me, Rare's overwhelmingly popular Diddy Kong Racing. That game was released at the same time as Mario Kart in 1997. The story of this game goes, and yes, actually, this game has a story. Strange as that is, still haven't quite figured out why a kart racing game is a story, but hey, anyway. The story goes, three muscats have captured Mickey's dog Pluto and left a ransom note. It's your job to try to find him and rescue him with the help of Ludwig von Drake. He convinces you and your friends, which are Minnie, Goofy, Daisy, Donald, and the other four unlockable characters, Huey, Louie, and Dewey, and also later on, Ludwig von Drake himself, to race across three circuits to start, two more later being unlockable for a total of 21 tracks. One question I do have about this game that I've yet to kind of figure out is if you're trying to rescue your dog Pluto, why is everybody racing each other? I don't know. The story doesn't make any sense. But, oh well. The game's fun anyway. Some of the tracks that you get to go to are Colorado, Nevada, Alaska, or Los Angeles. The backgrounds and foregrounds in these tracks or levels are bright and colorful, and each one feels different from the next. But maybe by now you're asking yourself, hey, cheese, how are the controls for this kart racer? How do they handle? Well, dear viewer, fear not. The controls are solid throughout in this game. If you played any other kart racing game on the Nintendo 64 console, you'll feel right at home. Honestly, there's really only two negative things that I can say about this game. And the first one's really not even that much of a negative, and that's in regards to the weapons. It's not that they're bad, they just feel a bit standard and uninspired. You use missiles, baseballs, oil slicks, boosts, and shields to try to race and beat out your opponent. And speaking of opponents, oh man, this computer, oof. It seems like they always somehow race perfect. Like I said though, the weapons aren't necessarily bad, they just feel a bit uninspired and kind of boring to be honest. The second thing about this game is the inner character dialogue. It feels really, really cool at first to hear the characters talking to each other and apologizing when you pass someone? What? Are you serious? This is supposed to be all out carnage, cutthroat racing. I want to completely beat you into oblivion and race you and make you eat my dust and I apologize to you when I pass you or hit you with an item? What? That makes no sense. Anyway. The inner character dialogue gets a bit tiresome after a while, or rather, really quick. Like I said though, it's kinda cool at first. Thankfully though, the music in this game is absolutely wonderful. It feels upbeat and charming, and really fits the theme. When it comes to Disney, and just Disney music in general, you can never go wrong there. So, overall you might be asking, is Disney Disney's Mickey Speedway USA worth picking up. Well, 
if you're like me and you're collecting on a budget or you've played your copies of Mario Kart and Diddy Kong Racing to absolutely to death, then yes, absolutely. Or if you maybe have school-age children or a school-age child, I'm talking like second to sixth grade here, then yes, I think this is a wonderful game to pick up and one that you can likely sit down with them and let them play. If you enjoyed this video and you're brand new here, like I said, my name's Alex with Ask the Cheese Gaming, where I primarily focus on Nintendo 64 reviews. I try to do almost daily clips. Lately, I've been showing off some clips of my retro game collecting, so you guys can go check that out on the channel if you'd like. And if you enjoyed this video and this review specifically, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like, comment, and a share. And above all, have a very Merry Christmas. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.